there are few animals in the world as closely linked to humanity as the humble honeybee. Here in New South Wales, non-commercial beekeeping is enjoying a bit of a renaissance. According to the state government, there are around 3,000 backyard beekeepers owning over 20,000 hives across the state. As long as you're sufficiently inquisitive enough um, and want to spend the time, then I think just about anybody can uh, keep bees. But then I, I'm the sort of person who thinks that anybody can just about do anything if they're interested enough. Brian from Wollombi owns 18 hives. For him, it's a true labour of love. Okay, the pollen is the equivalent of our protein and the honey is the equivalent of our carbohydrates. And this one, you can see these are capped. But the future doesn't look bright for the honeybee, with diseases like Varroa mite and the mysterious colony collapse disorder wrecking havoc on bee populations in America and Europe. There are many different uh, opinions as to what causes that, uh, but it seems to be a combination of uh, a lot of the problems that, as human beings, we have brought to this planet. Um, uh, the heavy use of chemicals uh, for both uh, pesticides and fertilizers, uh, the use of uh, genetically controlled um, or modified plants, um, but also the amount of um, electromagnetic energy that is uh, being produced by our technology. But I, th I personally think it's just a, a total combination of all of the different systems. Australia has remained the only continent not affected by these afflictions so far, though their arrival threatens to devastate agriculture production, which relies heavily on honeybees for pollination. There are some, however, who are sceptical of the plight of the honeybee. So I have mixed feelings about honeybees, and that's because well, I understand that if honeybees are in decline, that would be of concern to the honeybee industry, the people who keep honeybees for honey or pollination. It also has to be recognised that honeybees throughout most of the world are an introduced feral species where they have significantly negative impacts on various native um, species of other bees and other kinds of animals as well. I think it's unquestionable that um, honeybees have a negative effect on the Australian flora and fauna. It's as simple as that. I would say that he needs to really get his facts right. There is no competition between native bees and the introduced honeybee. If we didn't have the honeybee, we would not have actually 70% of our food. We wouldn't have macadamia nuts, we wouldn't have the quantity of almonds. Almonds are introduced too, humans are introduced too. Unsurprisingly, they're staunch supporters of the honeybee and backyard beekeeping here at the Illawarra branch of the Amateur Beekeepers Association of New South Wales. I don't think that we actually keep honeybees. We are custodians looking after the environment that that beehive lives in. We provide shelter, we ensure that the bees are looked after, but generally we maintain the ability of the bees to look after themselves, and that's really satisfying. From their headquarters in the Sutherland Shire, they've seen firsthand the rising interest in backyard beekeeping. We actually have a 10% increase in amateur beekeepers per year. Every year? And that's been for the last 10 years. With more and more people keeping bees in rural and urban areas, it's hoped that this will spread better education and promote a wider discussion about the true nature of our most prolific pollinators. Sam King, UTS News.